Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 34th episode of the Remnant tutorial series. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new tutorial videos. In this one, we're going to be setting up our melee attack switches so when we attack our weapon, our knife goes into our hand and swings and then our rifle will go back into our hand when we finish. I decided not to show the fluent one in this one mainly because there's going to be people who are going to want this specific action where it switches the rifle back in after every animation. And the uh, fluent uh, montage will have to do it when we set up our notifies for our attack trace. So basically when we're if we're still doing our traces and we're still and we're not uh, wanting our notified and so basically we don't click anything then it will continue on to the next trace and fluently keep the knife in the hand basically the whole time until you stop attacking so without further ado we will get into setting this up so the first thing I'm going to do here is just get my test project out of the way and we're going to want to go into our master weapon so weapons master weapon and in here we're going to create a new function called let's call it quit melee for now Maybe switch melee weapon because it'll be for both switching it, equipping it, and unequipping it. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is toggle the visibility of our weapon that we're, wheel we're holding. So, we're going to want to get our character reference. Get our equipped weapon and toggle visibility on the weapon mesh. So, the reason we're using the equipped weapon and not the primary is because sometimes. We'll have our pistol equipped sometimes, and this will it, this will pick up our rifle or our pistol. And we want to want to uh, propagate to children so that it's not just the mast. So um, all children of the equipped weapon will toggle visibility. And then we want to create a boolean. And it's going to be melee weapon equipped. And we're going to hold B and click to create a branch. Connect this like this. So now we're checking if our melee weapon is equipped in our hand. Select this, hold control, select this, and click Q, or I did it backwards. Select this, and select this, and click Q, and then align those. And right here, for true, we want to set our melee equip to false. And we'll copy this and paste it, and if it's false, we'll set it to true. And from here, we want to get our character reference. Get our melee weapon specifically. Get our weapon mesh.
attach component to component because the weapon mesh is a component of the weapon blueprint. And the character mesh is a component of the char player character. So that's why we're attaching two from one component to the other. And the socket name, we can get that from our melee weapon. I'm just going to actually make some room here so I can bring this over here. Weapon data. And we're going to want to make sure you get this weapon data specifically from our melee weapon socket detail. So we're going to want to break this actually. And there's our socket details right here. I keep I'm trying to type it in. You just got to break this and close that back up. So we don't need all of that open. And for here, it's going to attach it to our back slot or waist slot. If you have your, if you want your melee weapon on your waist, you have to make sure in your weapon data, to set your waist socket name and everything like that. So if you do, so if you remember in our data tables, you can set your sockets right here. And we didn't set the, we set the melee open on the back, but you can set it on the waist, change that up however you'd like. And make sure to snap your target location, snap the target rotation, and we can keep relative scale. And that should be, I'm just going to pull in another character reference so it's not so tied up there. And there we go. So this will touch the melee weapon to the character's back slot. Socket or waste if you decided to put it in the waste. Um, and so now we have, so that's if our melee weapon is equipped, it will set to our back socket. And if it isn't equipped, we can just control C this, control V. Quickly fix this comment, weapon socket. Plug in our weapon socket like that. So now it's running from our weapon socket our back socket up here and that will attach our weapon to our melee weapon to our back or weapon socket and if it runs through here once it will toggle the visibility hiding it and if it runs through here again it will toggle the visibility remake allowing it to reappear for our, our equipped weapon And the way we're going to be playing this is a few ways we can do it, but I think the best way would be using animation notifies. So we want to go into our character animations, or I guess we can get these animations in here. Yeah, melee. Attack one. So first attack, we'll add a notify. New notify. And we'll call this notify melee start. And you don't want it to put it at the very beginning. You want to put it at any point, like just after it starts. And add another notify. Melee end. And I just paused the video for a second there because uh, I actually thought of a better way to do the melee start. I just wanted to test it out. So we can delete this notify. You want to, if you made it, you want to go into your manage notifies and just right click right here and delete your melee end. 
and we can close that out or your melee start so we want to keep our melee in to make sure you want it to play before your stop animation for now And we can bring our stop animation back out farther because we're gonna use we're gonna use a different method for blending out once we set up our attack trace. So our melee attack starts and ends somewhere right here. Let's want this right here. So our attack trace will trace, and then if you attack again, it will blend in somewhere right here. But if you continue going, it will stop the animation. That's basically how it's gonna be set up. If that makes sense. So we have our melee end set up here. We can copy that and come into our other animations here. Just bring that over a little bit, paste. Because we don't want it coming into our army tracing to like right here somewhere. So right between the, the end of our trace and right here is when we're going to be able to play a combo without switching our weapon and stuff like that or ending the animation. And same thing here, paste and melee. And the way we're going to start it is you want to go into your melee attack. And right here after playing animation. Don't want a branch. Uh, I want to get our switch melee weapon. So now we have our notifies in. We should be switching to it, but not from it. Because we don't have our notify set up to. But if we continue through, it's going to toggle through because it's picking up the secondary but uh we're going to our animation blueprint go to our notify graph and melee that melee end then we'll get our character reference melee weapon Let's double check and checking that in here. Yep. And switch to melee weapon. We'll run right here. Now it should play through properly, so it'll switch to it, and then after it'll switch back, switch to and switch back. And there we're switching between our weapons. I have another change, pause the video there, and uh, I'll just quickly show you that change. Basically, I just set it up so that instead of toggling the appearance, we'll switch the weapon out like this so you can keep the toggle the appearance or you can have it so you switch your weapon into your, into your socket like that we'll quickly set that up now so if you like the toggle appearance for your weapon you can keep that if not you can simply take this out and you can delete it if you don't want it i'm just going to keep it there for a reference and you want to come over to your attached melee weapon and copy this, paste this. So we're coming into here and attaching our knife back to our, to our back socket. So we're going to want to put our weapon into our melee socket at this point. And we're not going to be using our melee weapon. We'll get our equipped weapon.
So it's a pistol or it's a rifle. It'll go back into the weapon socket. And then we can copy this again and paste it down here. And we'll set up our back socket here. So if our melee weapon is swinging and we're attaching it to our hand our weapon socket, we're going to want to set this to our back socket or waist socket if it's a pistol, and the way we can check that is we can check if our equipped weapon is equal to our primary weapon, which would be our rifle. And if it's true, we'll attach it to the back because we have our pistols attaching to our waist. And if it's false, I'm just going to copy this one up here one more time, paste it down here. And if it is false, We will attach our equipped weapon to our waist socket because that means it's a pistol. It might not just be a pistol, it's your secondary, it's specifically your secondary weapon. going to make that more specific there. So our primary weapons go to our back socket and our secondary weapons go to our waist socket. And if it's a melee weapon, it's just they just always go to our hand anyway. So now when we swing, our weapons go into our socket, and it works for both our pistol and our rifle. And that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and wanted to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial or video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.